Here's a quick video on the new color can display logger that we've got. A couple of new features. If you hold your right button down, you get a menu. So we've added air fuel units. So you can select between Lambda, desired equivalency, or air fuel. Drop it down, you can go through your calibrations, which is a new feature. So you can change your iBoost setting here. You can also use the knob if you want to. Then you can also change your traction control, turn that on and off. High octane, low octane, and alternate tire size. So if you have to track and you want to put slicks on it, you can just make the change here. You don't have to connect your laptop. And the configuration's already in the computer. So there's those. We've also added some peak gauges. So you see the little green gauges here and the text on the side? So it'll tell you what your peak values are. Uh, the air fuel locks in under load conditions, so it's useful. And then your uh, map sensor will hold peak boost, and the other gauges will hold different peak settings as well. So you've also got exhaust back pressure, uh, fuel EGT, things like that as well. If you want to change your gauges, you hold this button down, select which quadrant, quadrant you want to change, and you start cycling through them. So we've got a lot of data coming in here. It'll hold peak coolant temperature, peak coolant pressure. Uh, so after you make a run at the track, you can just come right back in, take a look at your gauges, cycle through, and look at any, any of the peak information that you want to see. So you can kind of get an idea on all the different stuff you can look at. XLGs, DCLGs, lateral Gs, side tilt angle, front lift angle, uh, which feeds back to the computer for power reduction, inlet air temp, it's all four stages of nitrous pressure, oil temp, pressure. Then you also can get into some of the larger gauges at the very end. So you can set it to be full size RPM, MAP, air fuel, XLGs, lateral Gs, side tilt front lift, all that stuff. So those are the different gauges. At the same time, there's also, I have an extension on here, but it logs to USB the whole time you're running. So all of the CAN data coming from the Pro UFI goes right to the USB stick to log. So when you're done, all you have to do is shut the car off, pull the stick out, and you can start looking at your data logs. So those are some of the new features that we've got with the new color display logger.